Hey everybody, I'm just in um, looking at our eggs. This week, I'm going to take you on a trip to Plenty. My church went and volunteered there for one of our day of service about two weeks ago. But I also need to drop off some eggs. I'm kind of excited. My new um, hens are laying. Hopefully that shows up on video. That's a nice like baby blue egg. Got all sorts of different color. Look how dark this one is with all the spots. Yep, we have all shapes and sizes. I'm really excited. We have some that are smaller and some that are larger. So lots of eggs coming in. Check out this video on Plenty and the things that they do. But first, I'm gonna show you what happened the morning we went to go to Plenty. Hey everybody. So I'm getting ready to leave for a service project today on our field trip and went out to get the chickens ready and realized that um, one of our heat lamps had fallen last night and had fallen on a log that's in the coop to allow the chickens to roost and smelled smoke and came out to this. So our entire coop almost went up last night, which would have been tragic. So when you read on chicken websites to don't use heat lamps or be very careful with them, listen to them because it's true. <laughs> that would have been a rough start to this morning. Let's see what else today has in store. Here we are at Plenty. This location was established around six years ago and is on 18 acres. When we showed up, we got to walk around with Mark and he showed us around the property. He's their head gardener. Mark's job is to use the space and the acreage to fill in the needs where they're not met by donations. And you can see the garden to the right of us. He was walking us down to the river to demonstrate how nutrient this area is because of the flooding and why the soil is so good. Plenty is an amazing organization because they don't check the financials of anyone who comes to take food. They are completely reliant on private donations. They receive a lot of their food from local businesses like Food Lion and also local farms. And then Mark here, he supplements what's still needed with the growing on with his own growing on the property. While we're here, we're going to do two projects. One, we're going to help clean potatoes and get some of the beds ready for winter. And two, we are going to collect chestnuts. Plenty is open three days a week for anyone who's in need to come and show up and pick up food. Sometimes they help people who only need food once or twice because maybe they've fallen on hard times, not had enough money that week. But for some, this is how they are sustained. They're either elderly, have low mobility, and they are able to receive food through this program. So the tree standing behind me is a chestnut tree. This is actually a Chinese chestnut tree. Back in the 1930s, all the American chestnut trees died out because of a blight and people employed started planting Chinese chestnut trees because they were more resistant to the illness. So we have been collecting chestnuts that have fallen and they kind of look like this. This is like the outside shell, but they're big. And they are, oops, just dropped it. <laughs> You'll see why I dropped it when I pull this up. Look at the casings that they come in. These spiky balls are squirrel proof. So the rodents, uh-oh, look, I had chestnuts fall right, right behind me. Here's a chestnut right here. So we learned that there are bugs that bore a little egg in here. So as soon as you collect them that evening, Mark is going to um, boil them, parboil them, and then freeze them so that any bugs or anything that are in them do not develop. And then you roast chestnuts on an open fire and that's where they come from. You can see all of the chestnuts that we collected for the chestnut festival that they will hold here in November. Look at this tree. Can you see all the little pom-poms in it? Those are the chestnuts. After we finished the chestnuts, 
Some of us went to go help spread large tarps over the gardens. These tarps are going to be used to help with weed control. This way you don't have to use chemicals in the garden and the tarp helps control the weeds. Some of us also help clean potatoes, about 700 pounds worth. These potatoes will end up being used this winter to help with the food supply. Inside here we can see the large tunnels that have been erected for winter growing. They've recently put in kale and this was actually my kids most favorite part all of the arrowheads and tools which Marcus found while planting and gardening in this area. In fact I found out something pretty cool about Mark. His degree is not in horticulture it's actually in anthropology so he knew all about the Indians and all about the different types of tools that they would use around here even special corn that is now almost extinct that the Indians used to grow. But I've saved my favorite part for last. At Plenty, there's a small demonstration garden. And in this garden, you are shown different ways on how you can grow plants in small spaces. I know some of you have mentioned how much you would enjoy growing plants, even on a back porch, maybe on the side of a house, but you might not have the space for a full garden. Look at all of these different ways, through bags, through baby pools, through small raised beds that they were able to show how you can grow food in your own backyard. Every time I've grown a garden, I've always found that I have much more than what I need. Not only can that extra be shared with animals, but it can also be shared with people, maybe your neighbors, maybe a friend. So think about how you can start a garden next year I saw this amazing chart at Plenty. Oh, and here's Arrow. That's Mark's dog. I just thought he was pretty cool, so I added him in. Here's a chart I saw at Plenty where it shows how many people that they have helped each month. And that gold line, that's actually for this year. If you see, the amount of people that needed help has gone significantly up. So support your local food banks. They need it, and you'll feel good for it. So I just pulled in from dropping off 13 dozen eggs to plenty and my drop off coincided with food pickups and found out that they were completely out of eggs and got to see my eggs passed out to people who needed them, which was, it was pretty humbling to see that that hard work does go um, to really truly help people who who need help made me almost wish I had more chickens just, just don't tell my husband that <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video we'll be back next week with winter is coming